Hey guys, so recently UK police interrogated a woman for praying silently near an abortion clinic. But before we get into the details, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of our videos. Okay, so a recent viral video showed a West Midlands UK police officer interrogating a Christian woman who was silently praying within an abortion clinic buffer zone in Birmingham. Here's the video. Are you here as part of an organised protest? No. You're not. Are you part of a pro-life organisation or pro-choice organisation? I am, but I'm not here in that capacity. Okay. Are you protesting? No. Are you here to pray for the lives of unborn children? Uh, that, it's a little bit leading, but no, I'm not. Okay. Uh, can your actions be carried out elsewhere? I can pray elsewhere, but I, I want to pray here today. Right. Why have you chosen the location here to stand? You know this is an abortion centre that I'm standing outside of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, are you aware that there is a public space protection order in place here? Yes, I am. Okay. Um, are you aware that you're breaching the public protection order? I'm not, no. Uh, will you move from here to outside the exclusion zone? I, I don't believe I need to. Okay. Um, if not, why are you not willing to move outside of the exclusion zone? Because I don't believe I need to. I believe I've got a right to be here. Okay. Right. Um, if you believe that you're present to press in any form, um, obviously we're going to need to issue with a fixed penalty notice. Sorry, can you explain that again? Yes. Um, we've... If you believe that you're present to protect in any form... If, if, I'm, if I believe what, sorry? If you believe that you are present to protest no, in I, any form... No, I'm not here to protest, no. Right. Um, well, you're in the PSPO, you, you, you're breaching it. I, so I'm in the zone, be, yes, but so I'm not gonna, protesting. Yes, yeah, so you're going to be given a fixed penalty notice today, OK? Um, and... Um, that will be given to you with the offence and plan to apply with the public space protection order and the antisocial behaviour crime and policing act 2014 um, and my colleague is going to issue with the ticket um, just to make it clear i'm not protesting okay but you know you can't be i'll just point out the PSP that you've seen that before. i know there's a zone here but i'm not protesting within the zone I'm just silently praying. So praying outside of an abortion clinic violates a public protection order? Sounds ironic, right? I mean, inside the abortion clinic, innocent children are being murdered and yet they are not the ones who are being held accountable for their crimes. Instead, people who are praying silently, not even protesting, mind you, or holding up signs or doing anything to actively interfere in anything going on in the abortion clinic, they are the ones being questioned for wrongdoing? They are the ones paying a penalty for simply praying. Though the video went viral recently, the incident actually took place earlier this year. Isabel Warren Spruce was actually arrested twice for praying outside of an abortion clinic. While she eventually received a public apology, it just goes to show the extensive support such clinics receive. The Public Service Protection Order issued by the Birmingham City Council prohibit activities like interfering or intimidating members of staff and recording or photographing staff or visitors. This seems reasonable. However, what is also in included on the list of prohibited activities are displaying any text or images relating directly or indirectly to the termination of pregnancy and protesting namely engaging in any act of approval or disapproval or attempted act of approval or disapproval with respect to issues related to abortion services by any means. This includes but is not limited to graphic, verbal or written means, prayer or counselling. So you can't show pictures of what an abortion actually is, you can't express your thoughts or opinions about abortions and you can't pray for or counsel people who might visit the clinic. So they are just trying to dehumanize the process and make sure people don't have the opportunity to really think about what they are about to do, which in the simplest terms is the fact that they are going to kill their baby in a very cruel, traumatic and painful way. Now, while it seems like pro-abortion advocates like to promote the idea that babies are just a clump of cells that don't feel or think anything and that there's no consequences whatsoever to getting an abortion, there are many who know exactly what happens during an abortion and are quite frank proud and even overjoyed at the thought of getting an abortion. One example is this so-called abortion counsellor.
this is absolutely disgusting what used to be promoted as reproductive rights or something done out of absolute necessity due to circumstances is now something to celebrate and even dance about what kind of a person are you if you are ecstatically dancing just before having your child killed while this sort of reaction has become increasingly normalized nowadays the truth is that abortion has a devastating effect on women one recent example of this is britney spears In her upcoming memoir The Woman in Me, Britney shared how she became pregnant while dating Justin Timberlake. Though she was quite young, she was quite excited and even looking forward to starting a family. However, since Justin didn't want to have a baby, he forced her to get an abortion. Talking about the experience, she wrote, "If it had been left up to me alone, I never would have done it." And yet Justin was so sure that he didn't want to be a father. She goes on to describe how she took abortion pills at home so no one would find out. Only Justin and her former assistant Felicia were present at the time. The pills left her lying on the bathroom floor sobbing and crying with excruciating cramps for hours. She said to this day it is one of the most agonizing things she has ever experienced in her life. Fans have even been digging into her past to find some evidence of this traumatic event in her life. They believe that her 2003 song Every Time is about her abortion. Now whether or not the song and the video was actually about her abortion is up for speculation but either way the truth is that abortion is extremely devastating abortions involve the deliberate and direct killing of an innocent human being in the initial phase of the existence from conception to birth it is a grave sin and a serious crime Taking their life is as unjust as taking the life of a newborn baby. While there are genuinely difficult and complex situations, the deliberate killing of an innocent human being can never be justified. Using ambiguous terms like termination of pregnancy, clump of cells or anything else is not only deceptive but tries to diminish the gravity of the act and the true nature of an abortion. No matter how much the pro-abortion side tries to work around this truth from changing the language and public perspective on abortion to act actively working against the pro life movement by stopping protests blocking or discrediting evidence related to abortion to preventing people from even praying silently for the women who visit these clinics and their unborn children it cannot take away from the fact that abortion is a tragic crime that must be stopped at all costs So what do you think about this is silent prayer at abortion clinics a threat or danger that should be penalized is abortion a tragedy only when the mother wants to have the child let us know in the comments below also if you like this video let us know by liking and subscribing to our channel it helps us a lot until next time